if we aren't managing those costs, I mean, employee benefits and employment uh, compensation is has got to be one of the biggest costs of, of the city. It is of any any business. So uh, managing that and making sure that we're staying within a budget that makes sense for our community. So uh, taxes don't rise for everybody so that we can meet our obligations as a city, I think is what's, what's key. And so as far as do our city employees get get paid enough? Probably not. But can we figure out steps to compensate them better? I'd love to look at some options. Um, I, I'm kind of in the same boat as Nate. I haven't had a chance to know that much about what our employees, or city employees are making. Um, the one thing that Paying for somebody to change a light bulb or something, but you know, I guess I, I feel like they probably are at a proper rate, um, just because of the we really don't have a turnover in this town of city employees, I don't believe, and that tells me that they're probably about where they should be. They're content, and do they want more? Everybody wants, but. Once again, you have to stay in those balances. Yes, I think our city employees, from the part-time employees at the city office, from the Parks and Rec Department, all the way up to the full-time employees at the sewer and water do an outstanding job. All of our employees do an outstanding job. Um, I've had the pleasure and opportunity to pass thank you notes back to some of our employees when they've gone above and beyond, and that is an awesome feeling. Um, earlier this year, we kind of dubbed it the year of the employee, and we took steps. Some might not consider it major. I considered it heart failure major when we took these steps, but we took steps to improve their situation. and. As Nathan mentioned, we do have a budget, and we do have to conform to that budget. And there are times when it's very restrictive, and and we do the best that we can. Like Bud said, you know, employees always maybe want a little bit more, and we have done everything we could this year to get them what we can. Is it enough? Maybe, maybe not. We are still down in the bottom percentile of towns our size, but like Ted said, we don't have a turnover. So that tells you something right there. People are happy in their jobs. So. Um, I can say the same thing that everybody else has. Um, the one thing that I'll just add to that, um, and it's something that I, I really think is important, um, in the year that I've been on board, I have seen multiple times that there is the opportunity to advance within the city. Uh, we had full-time employees that are now supervisors, um, park and rec director, um, you know, had that opportunity to move up. And um, that shows me that they are happy, that they are compensated um, how they should be. Their <coughs> benefit package is as good as it should be because they want to move up the chain and they want to stay with the community. We have an awesome staff. Um, could we ask more of them? Potentially, yeah. We could cross train. You know, there's always room for cross training. Who, who doesn't work for a company that doesn't cross train? Um, the thing that they forget, employees forget, is that you get a you get a salary, you get a dollar amount, but that package, that health insurance package, that that just looks like its own separate little box. You got your salary, or that's another box. But they, what you don't realize is that when you put that on there, you've got a pretty good sized box. Could it be more? Sure. But is it right size for <coughs> I think so. Um, but again, we have negotiations every year. We talk about what we think is fair. Um, they agree to it. This year, 
we have a chief of police that has done an outstanding job. He came to us at council one night and said that he's tired of having the, the lowest paid part-time police officers in the city, and actually around the state. He says, to be the lowest in the state, he says, when I need a part-time officer, when my full-time guys are gone, he says, I'm getting the bottom of the barrel for officers. Do you folks want that on your streets at night? And what that entails is that you got somebody that might park the car, take a nap. Or do you want to pay the part-time employee the best? There wasn't one person in the council that even bought. We said we want to be the best. And we did. <coughs> so we're expecting nothing but the best. Um, employee, employee wages is a tough subject. Um, we could go on all night. But not going to. Well, I have no experience with this, but being around some of the city employees, I've never heard a complaint. And I think most of them are pretty happy to be on the city. You know, it's a pretty good job to have, I think. And I've never heard any complaints. So. Two people have asked us to ask these guys about the possibility of a new recreation center being built in it. And what it would entail, what it would cost, what it would include. Celebration Park, the community did. Uh, if the community wants this record uh, addition, the community will step up and pay for a lot of it out of their own pockets. Uh, I'm, I certainly wouldn't want a straw in the, in the path of that new recreation facility. I think that anything we can do to get the citizens and their children to spend more time together is 100% positive for our community. I think that uh, the things that should be in it I think I'll leave that to the rec department. Uh, one thing I've not done in the last 20 some years is micromanage. I don't believe in that. Uh, I have tremendous commissions and, and uh, departments. And uh, I think that given an opportunity to look into expanding the rec department, the recreation department will do a fantastic job of letting the citizens what they think is the appropriate thing to have in there. I've had the opportunity to actually take part in some of the meetings that have taken place over the last couple of months regarding a new aquatic center or fitness center or whatever it is uh, we, we end up with. Uh, there's been a group of probably 25 to 30 people in the community ranging from about 20 to 40 or so uh, in age who have gotten together to discuss this exact thing and come together with ideas and come together with different uh, things that they've seen at other other communities and just brainstorm of what Vinton wants and needs. We're looking at, we're talking to those people because those are the people who are going to be having kids over the next several years and who are going to be uh, having their kids go through and, and utilize these facilities. Um, we talked about having an indoor pool. We talked about rock climbing walls, uh, trail systems. I mean, if you can think of it, it's been brought up at these meetings, and it's been really, really exciting. We, w we talked earlier tonight about websites. We talked about uh, internet, fiber. Uh, we've talked about all kinds of incredible progressive things and I think that this community is and the young people in this community are really wanting something that they can call their own that they can take their kids to that uh, they can have for the future of the community and I think that an aquatic center or uh, 
an advanced rec center of, of whatever, whatever that might look like, I think would be a huge asset for the community. And not only for the current residents, but it will draw people into the community, which will then draw people into the schools, and really, uh, I think, can do a lot for the tax base and bringing a lot of opportunities uh, to our community and our citizens. Um, our park department uh, rec center is a, there's no doubt about it. And I think that if we could add on, and, but I've got a vision that that's gonna help bring people into town, more younger families, but I'd also like to look at you know, as part of it, even like a senior center, something to get um, our older generation, you know, out there also. I mean, they're, you know, we talk family, but, you know, the older population is family too. You know, it's important, you know, they use the, the skating rink for their walk. Why couldn't we do something, you know, like a carpeted walking area track for them, or something low impact? You know, you got to think as a community, how can we help our entire community? I think a rec center is a very important part of our community because when you come to a city of our size, what do you look at? What do we offer? You know, most people go to their jobs. You know, we have a great grocery store. We have a skating rink. We have, we have a lot of things in town. But what activities are there for the whole community after you're done working, or if you're retired and you'd like to go out and just do something, it's, it's very important to, to look at the whole community as a whole and see where we can, you know, expand and help everyone. Well, this is a topic I'm very green on. Um, it is a needed improvement, addition, expansion, um, total rebuild, however you want to look at it, is very needed. Um, as a citizen, I would be all for it, and I would look forward to an opportunity to be involved in helping on a steering committee or something that Brad might put together. As a council person, I would trust Brad and the Parks and Rec Department to bring their plans to us and help them hone where we can and let them run with it where they can. Um, but it, it is a needed facility. Um, I just, it's just, I'm not sure how much involvement other than helping them with their planning that we as a council need to do. Um, I would agree with everybody. It is uh, something that's important, uh, but in the planning process, you know, if, if we're looking for this to help draw individuals to the community, we need to build it big enough for another two or four or five thousand people than what we have right now. Um, I was an athlete growing up, uh, and I'm sure it's probably still the same way, but gym time is a hot commodity. Um, you know, I played school sports. And then I played extracurricular sports um, outside of school. And in this community, the only gyms that we had to use uh, were the school gyms. And so we, we kind of got whatever was left over. Um, and I think with the new rec facility, if we had four or five or 